here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 2022, a New Jersey woman was wanted by authorities in Monroe County, Pennsylvania for failure to appear in court on charges of fraud. In addition, she had 10 bench warrants for failure to appear in court on traffic violations in Jersey City. Normally you would expect a fugitive to stay in hiding. Or at least keep a very low profile. However, this woman went out and applied for a job. But not just any job. She actually had the nerve to apply for employment with the Hudson County Sheriff's Office in New Jersey. This law enforcement agency specializes in going after people wanted for outstanding warrants. This is the last place you would expect her to be looking for a job. Perhaps she thought she would be able to delete herself from the system once employed. After filling out the job application, she left the office and waited for an answer. As expected, they performed a background check on the woman. Once they confirmed that she had outstanding warrants, they knew they needed to get her back in the office. So they scheduled a job interview and asked her to come in. The woman showed up expecting to get a job. Instead, police arrested 27-year-old Zaima Johnson on the spot. She was charged with being a fugitive from justice. During a routine inventory of Johnson's property following her arrest, officers discovered that she was in possession of two stolen credit cards. Thus, they added credit card theft to her other charges. And after all that, they learned something else about Johnson. It turns out that she was also a former postal worker. Because of her criminal history, the United States Postal Service has since launched its own investigation into Johnson. At the time of her arrest, she was being held in Hudson County Jail awaiting extradition to Pennsylvania. In 2012, a Pennsylvania man was out running errands in his truck when something caught his attention. It was a 10-point white-tailed deer. This was within the Burrell Township which is a hunting community. Eager to bag the deer, the man jumped out of his truck and chased it while firing several rounds from a handgun. And here is where it gets interesting. The man wasn't out somewhere in the open woods. He was doing this while in a Walmart parking lot during the busy holiday season. Witnesses said the deer ran around a corner of the store as the man chased after it. He eventually managed to shoot and kill the deer. He then loaded it on his truck and took it to a processing plant. Meanwhile, concerned shoppers were calling 911 to report a man with a gun running through the parking lot. Once police determined that the incident involved a deer, they did not charge the man. Instead, they handed the case over to the Pennsylvania Game Commission whose charges carry stiffer penalties. The Game Commission then took over as the lead investigation agency. However, state police later decided it was important that they also file charges. For one, this was a big hunting community, and the local hunters were very upset about the incident. But more importantly, officers said that people were at risk in the parking lot that night. Hunters aren't allowed to fire within 150 yards of an occupied structure or roadway. And as one officer said, it should be pretty obvious when you're in a Walmart parking lot. According to the man's attorney, his client only shot the deer because it was injured and he wanted to protect store customers. He also said that the man has a firearms permit but not a hunting license. Since this was at Walmart, there were plenty of surveillance cameras. The video was later enhanced by the state police crime lab. Charges came after a four-month investigation. Evidence against the man included the surveillance video, which probably refuted his claims. The deer that was seized from the meat processor was also used as evidence. According to a wildlife conservation officer, the buck was the nicest one he's seen taken in that county in recent years. Perhaps that's why the man couldn't resist going after it. The 40-year-old man faced a misdemeanor count of reckless endangerment, as well as several hunting violations. They included hunting without a license, shooting on or across highways and unlawful killing or taking of big game. In 2017, a deputy in Marion County, Florida pulled over a driver for speeding on a Saturday morning. When he made contact with the driver, the deputy smelled marijuana coming from inside the vehicle. 
There was also a seven-month-old child in the front passenger seat. After searching the vehicle, the deputy found methamphetamine, rock cocaine, and heroin. A scale was also recovered from the vehicle and a large amount of money. The man was arrested and taken to the Marion County Jail. But once they arrived at the station for processing, something strange had happened. The money they found on the suspect was gone. The man claimed that the money had already been confiscated, but the police said that was not the case. Detention deputies then noticed $20 bills falling from the man's buttocks area. Police then decided to perform what they described as a necessary but undesirable task. They had to inspect the man's rectum. Sure enough, he had shoved the money up his anus. Police were able to extract $1,090 in U.S. currency from his butt. In a rather humorous Facebook post, Marion County Police posted a quote from mothers who warn their kids about putting things in their mouth without knowing where it's been. An obvious reference to the nasty bills they just extracted. They also apologized to the Marion County cashiers who are now probably wondering about the money they handle on a daily basis. They said they would understand if cashiers chose to start using gloves. And as you can see from the comments, police weren't the only ones having fun with this story. 26-year-old Patrian Stokes was charged with smuggling contraband into a detention facility, trafficking methamphetamine and heroin, possession of cocaine with the intent to sell, manufacture or deliver, possession of marijuana and possession of drug equipment. In 2009, a Florida man drove up to Burger King on a Friday night and placed an order which included a lemonade drink. When he pulled forward to pay, he was informed that they were out of lemonade and offered a Coke instead. The man got angry because they didn't tell him this earlier. After a heated confrontation, he threatened to call police. The cashier reportedly told him to go ahead. The man then made good on his threat by dialing 911 to report what he felt was a serious crime. Here is the audio from that call. Hello. Sir, you're at Burger King? Yeah, I'm in the Burger King voice with Boulevard. I place an order. When I get there, I'm in the window, I tell the lady I want the um, lemonade, fake lemonade. She say, you, uh, you, I don't have, we don't have a lemonade. I say, why you didn't say that to me before? She says she's going to let me, make me stay here for 15 minutes, that's what she says. Okay, before she gives me the food. That's okay, if the food's not done, sir, the food's not done. The food is done, the food is done, she says she's going to make me stay here for 15 minutes because I'm talking too much with her, that's what she says. I come from work, I'm hungry, I come to here to buy something. You cannot dial 911 because you're unhappy with your burger, okay? Have you given them any money? No. No? Have they given you any food? No. No? Okay, then you can drive away, sir. If I'm hungry, what is, why do you think she's not going to give me the food? Sir, before come on. This, before this come on. Minutes. Come on. I know you don't seriously think that the police need to make Burger King give you food faster. Instead of driving away, he told the dispatcher that he would wait for police. When police arrived, the 66-year-old man could not explain why he resorted to calling 911 for a civil matter. He was charged with misuse of 911 and issued a citation to appear in court. One can only imagine the tongue-lashing Judge Judy would have given this guy in court. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.